Okay, so this is gonna be a video about just quick tips on how to save money for college books. And basically a lot of the things that I'm gonna suggest to you are actually things that I did while I was going to the college and the university. So yeah, so here, here it is. So when I first started going to school, oh my God, these books, they costed so much. It seemed like because I was paying full price. And I remember a friend of mine saying like, why are you paying full price? Like, you don't need to do that and um, go to a used bookstore. That's what they would tell me to do. So um, that was the first strategy that I basically did. And um, initially I was buying from the college bookstore, which is basically it's full price. Um, a lot of the bookstores now they have like another option of maybe renting the book or sometimes they have the used books but they don't always and sometimes you can get it even like for a smaller price than the listed used price of the book so um, yeah so how you do that is uh, my favorite strategy that I figured out <laughs> while I was like about to um, graduate actually is I went on e well not not eBay but because I'm not so familiar with using eBay but you could go to eBay but um, Amazon which eBay and Amazon they're pretty similar and they have a lot of deals and so um, yeah you can go on Amazon and you can just make sure that you're searching the right book in the uh, search bar and um, sometimes you can buy the previous edition <clears throat> and it might be the same but you have to kind of check make sure the pictures look similar um, s sometimes they don't have the exact book name and title but in most cases they do and check the seller ratings that's another thing if they have good seller ratings then um, you know most likely you can trust the uh, seller and the other tip is uh, when you're getting books, you want to order them ahead of time if you know which books you need and um, you can save on shipping by um, trying to see if the shipper is actually in the same state as you are or in one of the surrounding states that you're in or the locations that you're at. So um, yeah, that would help you in saving money on your books. And the other website that I was using for quite some time was Chegg and I would rent books on there and sometimes I would buy them you new or used so um, yeah you can save a lot of money with these strategies I know I saved a lot of money mostly from buying from Amazon and sometimes the u new cost is not that much different or sometimes it's even less for the new one as opposed to the used one so yeah that would probably be the best way to go just go on Amazon and look for your books there and um, yeah happy studying all right bye